Here's a really important map I'm working on right now. Notice how I've got these hatched fills kind of intersecting with each other. And I want to echo that in my title. So if you look closely, you can see that it's got this kind of scratched kind of effect. I'll show you how to do that. Here is a regular bit of text that I've inserted into my layout in ArcGIS Pro. Let's take a look at how we can add this kind of slashy lininess to it. I'll open the properties of this text and I'll look at the text symbol and there's this amazing thing called text fill symbol here. It's a drop list. I can pick a couple default ones. I can look at the gallery of existing ones or I can dig into this. It's just another polygon. So if I format this polygon, I can take a look at how it's being rendered. There's no outline or at least it's an empty outline, and I have a solid white fill. Let's go into the structure. I'll get rid of that outline, and I'm going to duplicate this solid white fill, and then for the lower one, I'm going to add an effect called offset. I'll come back to this layers here. I'll choose that one, and see how now I have a little effect category here, and I'll expand this, and I'll make it, it let's say, an offset of three. You can see how every time I increase the offset, it gets a little bit wider. Offset just increases the polygon area. A negative offset would eat into the polygon area. So instead of a solid fill here, it's just a matter of choosing a hatched fill. And now I have this kind of scratchy fill that's growing three points outside of my text's polygon. Let's see what it looks like in our map. Okay, let's add to this effect. So I'll go back into that polygon symbol. I'll go over to that structure one more time and I'm going to make a couple duplicates. So now I have three hatched fills extending beyond and I'm going to increase the distance for each one. So this will be six points out and this will be, let's make it nine points out and you can see them grow here. And for each of these, I'm going to make them increasingly transparent. So this will be 100% opaque. And this next one that goes out six points, I'm gonna make it semi-transparent. So I'll go into the color properties and say 60% transparent. A little bit more than half. I hit okay. And then this one I'll make largely semi-transparent. So the bottom most one that goes out all the way. And I'll say you're gonna be 80% transparent and hit okay. And that way we get this kind of neat fade effect. Now we have a title style for our map that makes use of hatching. Give it a shot, have fun.